Yo, Mike, you ain't, you ain't <laughs> never you ain't never trained with Sean. You ain't never trained with Sean Strickland. No, man. So I went over there. Sean's my friend. I like Sean Strickland a lot. Um, I went over there. I sparred with him and Kurt and Chris, and they were asking me about you. And I'm just like, look, man, y- y'all for what? Unless you train with Mike. And you ain't never been in front of him. The first time you're in front of him is not gonna be what you think. A hundred percent. He's one of the t- the guys. Well, Sean Strickland's probably one of those guys. Too. He is. He is. You're right. He is. Sean is that that guy that when you watch him, you're like, all right. But then when you're in front of him, his timing is so offbeat. He punches you in between your rhythm. He is very fast for a guy with no abs and love handles. He's fast as shit. And. <laughs> And, and uh, but strategy. I told Chris, I said, man, Michael punching you, bro. I'm just letting you know, like, because I sparred him. I was like, he will punch in you, bro. Sean, I would love to watch you guys go He's at it. He's bigger than he used to be. He's big. He's Chris better. got better. He you, went through the ringer. Stylistically, though, just from training with both of you guys. I know my boxing. I'm very confident yeah. in my boxing. If it's boxing, I, you know, Sean and I don't even know if Chris Curtis's jujitsu is good enough because, you know, I got I got maybe better hands than Rodolfo. They don't think you can grapple though. They don't know you can grapple. But here's the thing about Chris. Sean is borderline impossible to hold down. Impossible. And Sean has a very fast jab. Like very fast. Yeah. Like but like I got some for that show. Elite roll, fast. Though. But here's I the thing. But but Chris. No, no, no. But yeah, I, I do too. But but Chris, I just think he he takes too much shots. So like he'll get close to you and he'll put his hands here and he'll and he'll roll. It's just too many free shots, especially with guys that like to rip rip it off there. But Chris is good. Shout out to Chris. But they were both uh talking about, you know what I mean, sparring with you or chain yeah, with you. Yeah, I know. They both they all want to beat me up. <laughs> just like everybody else wanna come get a piece of the king of violence until we in the ring and it's fair. It's fair and square. It's a squared circle, Talk sir. That shit. <laughs> Yo, look, I'm telling y'all, man. Till it's fair and square, there's Tell- a way, and I got a technique, and I'm sharp, and I'm quick, and I can box, and I like all the parts of it. I've the only person, right? You you've taken losses, obviously. The only person though that I've what seen, losses? no, firsthand, yeah, never lost, what <laughs> never lost. lost. The only person that I've seen firsthand that didn't falter mentally when they fought you. Was Luke, and it was weird because I remember I was in the corner. This is Uruguay. He fought, and when the bell rang, you hit him with a big overhand off the bell, and he literally he was here, boom, and just like respectfully, he he he, he was right back in the mix. But respectfully, y'all were both y'all both mirrored each other with that. Those first two rounds of that Luke fight was some of your best work. It was, that, it was great, especially fight. that great first fight. round. The way you man, was fuck moving, MMA, man. <laughs> fuck. I knew. He, are I you knew making? Are you? More, are you making more money? These guys. Why are you here in the streets? Why, why is it I'll fuck MMA? I punch your ass before you ever even see it coming, man. I'm gonna win. <laughs> why is it fuck MMA? Though? Are you making more money? Than these UFC guys or what? Because I've always loved boxing, and I like the bare knuckle shit because. At this point, I've got an advantage on everyone. So tell us without giving. Away I've had secret. professional bone fights. And I got an advantage in it against everyone. I think it's a professional. No, that's a fact face. because no one's doing it. Between a guy like it, you who's at the top of the game, right? What is the edge without giving away the edge that you feel that people don't understand about bare knuckle? That, can I, can that I take you a had guess? an aha moment? Can I Go take ahead. a guess? Yeah. I I mean, mean, I'm curious. It's just a difference. Like when you get hit with like a, a gloved hand or whatever like that, it's more of concussive. When you get hit with the bone and it, it it does something, it feels different. Like even if you take your hand and just press it into a bag, like you can feel the knuckles in pressure. And I think the same way Luke Rockhold's been hit in his mouth a hundred times. You know what I'm saying? It didn't hurt as much as when you hit him like that. I, when you hit him with the, in just, my opinion, this is what I think it is. And this is from firsthand experience being able to train with him. So like, I what I love about watching his fights, they're all unless he's fought the guy before, and I don't know how many fights you've had, like Mike Perry versus so and so too. It's usually like the first time you fought a guy, right? I don't, I don't, I don't know if you fought a guy Rematches. twice. Yeah, I, have, I haven't had any, and that's even either. better. So what I love is there's a there is a moment every time me and Julian watch it, we laugh that they're in there like, oh damn, this ain't. 
how we were he mapped it up like this shit kind of different i love it but but i'm used to it so i prepare for it and i know how to keep away i know how to like you know what i'm saying like mediate it but guys they go right in they think they see the reads and then around later he's still there he's still in their face the thing, in my man. opinion this is what i think on the outside looking in you can't really wind up as hard as you can and crack someone right and a, a lot of these guys when you watch them they're like hum, 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 hum. and you'll watch mike in between hitting everybody boop 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 he be hit. boop 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 next thing you know cut 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 bleeding out of there and i I'm, i've noticed a lot in bkfc i don't know if i'm right or wrong but you're catching people in between a lot. And guys will be here, MVP, dancing in front of him, ready to shoot, boom, down. It was, oh. And it's, and he's doing something that's working. And a lot of guys are trying to hang, and Mike's in between, boof, 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 boof. And it's working. Clearly, the motherfucker hadn't had lost. Eddie Alvarez, like, he got they, they, shot they, in the face. The damage, is, the damage is just different. Like, you know of, what I'm saying? Like, he... When you hit him with the Not shit, for me. he just keeps walking through it. Oddly enough, you, he just keeps walking Not through it. Me. But when, look, when they feel the damage, when they feel the damage, they're just like, I don't want to keep feeling that no more. This motherfucker be like, but what look, damage? though, Eddie Alvarez, Eddie Alvarez looked like he was like, a little faster than me. He, he looked me, crazy but like, after that was one I round. I felt my pressure building up on him, and I was overwhelming him like a boulder, and he was on the bottom of the hill. And it was, was the second round he got killed. He was trying to come up the hill. Because at the end of the second, I shoulder rolled some shit, parried a punch, jabbed him. I hit him with some body shots. And I looked at him when the bell rang. Oh, and I, I figured you out. And he did not come out of the corner. That was the end of the second. Because I was finna hurt him. So two rounds. Two rounds. Four two, minutes. Two two-minute Four minutes. That's not even MMA round. Eddie Alvarez out of there. And Luke was one? Three and a half minutes. Oh, the second round. Mm-hmm. Second crazy. round, it's crazy. It ain't so pretty no more. Ain't no, ain't <laughs> it's a difference, man. It's so like there's niggas that beat niggas up, right? They they can fight, right? They and then there's niggas that beat the niggas up that beat niggas. I guess they like, beat <laughs> niggas up that beat niggas up. <laughs> so that reminded me of the earlier y'all was talking about. Uh, Fury, you said you, they're gonna come for you because you said Fury's the greatest. Fury's the greatest current. Mike Tyson is obviously the greatest. Like, the fuck, that's I'm simple. Saying. It's factual, yeah, right. and that's my twin, bro. Me and Mike. Yeah. Go, go twin. back and watch the fights. Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all time. He's not here, brother. Our oh, greatest yeah. of all time. He's Muhammad not here. Ali. God bless the day. Mike is here. Come on, facts. Mike is here. He's surviving. He's here. He's the best on the planet that there ever was. Yes. And Tyson's even named after him. And Oh, he is. Tyson Fury. He is the greatest current right now because he had great fights with other great heavyweights and he beat them. And he went away for a while, was undefeated. And then if you talk technical, Mayweather's the best. Yeah, I'm money a, I, wise, yeah, Mayweather. Yeah, I'm business. talking. Yeah, I was talking heavyweights, you know, but Mayweather, but heavyweights. for sure, Mayweather for sure. But Usyk, I mean, in Usyk my opinion, might have something to I say like Mike Mayweather. Tyson. I love him. Hats off to him. I love what he's turned himself into. I love uh, how he is a beacon in the MMA world, in the boxing world, in the combat sports world. Like people seek out this I hope man, he's having fun, far and wide, and he's making good money. Shout out to him, taking care of his family. He but, looked crazy, incredible when he fought. Roy Jones. Roy. Yeah, and, and side note, he looks amazing now hitting pads. I don't know why he hitting pads in his boxer briefs, my nigga, like with the beef hanging out. That's crazy. But <laughs> aside from- He always from, used to do that little ass short. Nigga, yeah. he's in the Hanes uh, hitting with her duffel <laughs> cup. Co co did, uh, did he had a cup on? No. <laughs> he had his whole beef swinging, hitting pads. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what is happening here? A that shit was crazy. But he's the greatest because you can do that. Nigga, nah, nigga, put some shorts on. Aliens land right now. I'm tasting Mike Tyson. Hold on now. They be in the MMA gyms looking crazy. Facts. They ain't got no clothes on. Val. Val be, Val. Shout out Val, man. That's my guy. But Val be training, man, in underwear, man. 
That shit is blasting. That shit's Jamaican man. brother. Val be, Val be having the shock doctors on. Listen, that. that's why I go in there. I be boxing. I be sticking and moving. Nobody touch me. Nobody <laughs> catch me. Get off of me. Get. Get, get, get. This nigga Val, man. Val be wearing the fucking... The just the cup protector, man. I'm like, nigga, you in the UFC? Put some shorts on, dog. Like, come on, man. Shit, nasty. Train dog. harder when you keep your shirt on, your clothes on. It's Feel harder. Good. You sweating more. You heavier. 